before I continue to the next part of this video, same thing as part one, um, just a quick warning for anybody who's arachnophobic, this video contains spiders, clearly, because you clicked on this video, I'm pretty sure you're like, let's check this out. Um, but do not play with venomous spiders, do not play with venomous insects, unless you know what you're doing. Again, one more time, if you haven't watched part one, go watch part one, I kind of go over everything a little bit, um, or what you're seeing here, and then come back to this video. But moving forward, we don't need this guy here. Um, the Black Widow likes to be on the top a lot, so that's kind of why I'm putting it on, on this enclosure here. I'm actually going to clean this a little bit because it's just really nasty. I used to have a different, um, I want to say it was a False Widow spider in here, I, 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 and now the Black Widow's going in there. That's, that's the point. The Black Widow's going in here, but I'm going to clean this up a little bit. Alright, so it's a little cleaner now. I kind of just sprayed it with water and dried it up. I'm going to throw a little more of this, although I don't think it really needs it because it's probably going to chill the top anyways. Cause that's what it likes to do and be a little dick and not appreciate the little decorations i'll probably still put the decorations in here because they're kind of cool it's like a little tombstone but yeah so uh same idea i'm gonna throw this thing in here although for the black widow i honestly think it's actually less dangerous if i do it outside because then it gives it a chance to run and i can actually just have it crawl onto a stick and then just guide it back in where it needs to go that's how i've done it before and then the reasons why i've had to rehouse the black widow a few times is just because the enclosures do get dirty they get moldy um or it just gets so full of webbing that i can't even open it because it already knows where the entrance is and where the food comes from and it likes to chill literally right next to where the damn thing opens and it makes it impossible for me to like safely feed the freaking spider without it trying to run out okay let's do this um i don't know if i mentioned this last video but this stick actually came from cobb estate which is like where i found this black widow so it's gonna go back in there and hopefully the spider likes to chill on the stick and towards the back of the like the little door thing because you know, the door kind of closes this way so hopefully it likes to chill in the back of that little tree. I mean, it liked it before. It used to be in that thing, which that is now like a temporary capturing thing. And then I transfer them to these little things. So here are the steps that we're going to take to do this. The first thing I need to do is get the, the Black Widow onto the bottom, anywhere to the bottom so I can open the lid completely and not have any webbing for it to crawl back up. Then I'll be able to hopefully have it on a stick that I can grab with the tweezers and then transfer the entire stick and kind of just hopefully let it kind of crawl onto that tree there or in some way use some kind of form of you know transferring it over because it doesn't move a lot once it's on something it'll like you know once you start moving it it'll kind of like panic a little bit and then once you kind of put it near something else it'll try to crawl onto it most of the time um, I cannot say for sure how they react because every insect will react in its own way although I've noticed um false widows are way easier to deal with uh when i had to rehouse false widows if i could have them on a stick like this i'll put it on top of these and they'll just like know to just it'll just drop itself down with webbing and i did that multiple times and every time the false widow would just drop itself right in like just, and that's it <laughs> this little f is an asshole he doesn't oh, excuse my language but he doesn't like doing that he makes my life complicated don't you all right, so here it goes. First step, let's bring them down a little bit. So let's open this up. All you gotta do is just tease them a little bit. All right, so without hurting it, just tease them down. Kind of already knows. I've done this multiple times. I kind of just go for the web, try to pull it down. He hates, do, he hates when I do this, or I guess I was still playing it a he, it's a she. It's a female black widow. She hates when I destroy her web, but she knows I do this all the time. Every week, I knock down the web because she always makes new ones. She always redoes this. So, I can open a little bit more. I'm going to put this little tree a little higher up, so hopefully she can crawl onto it and make her way down. So, my camera battery died, but basically... I got her right there. Got her onto the tree branch. 
and she's low enough where I can take the whole lid off and not have to worry about her running upwards because she's probably going to stay within her webbing. So now the tricky part is getting her from there to there. With me being able to close the lid, and notice how I don't use gloves and I probably should use some kind of gloves that will protect me from a venomous bite. But again, don't do what I'm doing. This is for uh, entertainment or educational purposes, but although I'm not really educating you guys because this is dumb. Um, do not try this at home. No matter what. Look, she's trying to get up. Oh, look at you. Oh, look at you. Look at you trying to get out. Hell no. Get out of there. Gotta knock down that web and see just scare her back. Gotta show her his boss, alright? You can't be doing that. Not yet. Do that in that one. Where you can go all the way up as much as you want. But not in this one. Alright, so for this here, I'm gonna leave the camera right there. I kind of got her on one of the tree branches and I'm going to try to pick up the branch and see if she could just go on to the other one but I'm going to need to use a little ruler to kind of push her off the branch and then really grab the tweezers really really strong. Gotta get rid of all this extra webbing. See because it comes with everything comes with like black widow web is super strong it's whoa okay okay let's try to separate the branches without hurting her. That webbing is super strong. Holy crap. Hey, chill, buddy. Chill. Just trying to take the webbing off of here. Ah, come on. Again, I am not a professional. Like, if you guys are watching this and you guys own Black Widows, like, if you can show me a better way to do this, like, please do. Like, refer me to your videos. I mean, I've watched plenty of videos about Black Widows and stuff, but, like, again, I am. this is not a how-to video. This is just how I'm doing this. And let's try to get her in there. Get her to climb on. And she's in. Make sure there's no webbing attached to her. Oh, there was. Oh my god. Okay. And now she's in there. So we just moved her from here to there. And she's on that little tree. She recognizes this tree though. This little tree branch. I keep calling it a tree, but it's a tree branch. Because she'll eventually make her little hideout in that same little area that she's at. So for now, I'm going to close it because this is freaking me out and I'm getting like those nervous chills. I will remind you, although I do this, this creeps me out. I do this for, I don't know, like self-torture or something. Like, uh, it's, I need to like breathe for a sec. This is like super fun at the same time. Just the adrenaline rush of this is insane. Now, her, I don't have a fear of her falling because I don't think she'll fall. She has a very good grip, um, which is why you can have enclosures just like this where it's just a branch and then she'll eventually web the hell out of everything. And all I really have to do is open this door and then kind of just swing the ruler or any kind of thing and just eliminate the webbing so I can open a door without like messing with her webbing and scaring her which will potentially lead her to run because every time i open it she tries to run out and that's like the sketchy part and i needed to make this less sketchy i forgot i had to put the uh the little um decorations in there so now oh my god that's so crazy look at her come on focus and she's kind of small right now like i tried feeding her crickets but she wouldn't eat them it's maybe been like two or three weeks, but she won't eat the crickets, so I don't know what's going on with her. She's not like super small for her size, but like, I've seen her like way bigger. So, to me this is her getting a little too skinny for what I'm used to seeing her like. Alright, so just a quick update. Um, both spiders seem to be okay. Well, clearly the Black Widow's fine, but um... The tarantula, like, it kind of got onto its side, actually. Well, like, like this. And I'm able to see, like, the abdomen, and nothing looks like it was ruptured. So, I think it'll be okay. This is terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. But it's fun, and I hope to have a scorpion again soon, but I'm probably gonna go for a smaller one. Look at the widow, though. You at? Dude, that shit looks creepy. Like, who the fuck would own this as a pet? 
No, but no lie though, this is kind of fun, especially when you see them take down crickets. Like, that's what I feed them. Like, I don't know if you guys um, know much about spiders now, but whoever's watching this, if you don't know anything about taking care of them, like, it's fairly simple. You just feed them crickets that you buy from like Petco, PetSmart. They're like 16 cents each, depending on the size. And you just drop them in there. I mean, make sure they eat them though, because if not, you're gonna have like dead crickets, and then dead crickets smell like sh like like utter sh like it smells so bad they always do this when you move to new enclosures they like to explore and try to get away i guess because after you've moved them they're kind of fearful of like their surroundings but once it gets used to this enclosure it'll kind of like go around it a few times learn what's around and then kind of just get comfortable in a single spot the black widow got comfortable pretty quick because again it has been on that little tree branch before i want to say it recognizes it because it's where exactly where it would always chill and then eventually it'll create like a little webbing down here in the middle. 